Great. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Mr. Kratzhan. These are things we do need to practice, every one of us. Um, so, uh, so we've come to the exciting moment. We are ready to introduce someone to you, members of FISO. And I think he is here. So Max Whitmore, please join us. Hey there, how you doing? Great, great. Tell us about yourself, Max. Yeah, so I graduated high school in 2017. So I'm 21 right now. I graduated from Grand Blanc High School. So some of you might go there or from around there. Um, but yeah, I played uh, with the Flint Symphony Orchestra for about three or four years. Um, it was a lot of fun. So this is super cool that you guys still get to do this. This is awesome. I'm kind of geeking out right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so then after I graduated, I went off to college. If anyone of you have heard of the Young Americans before, um, they're a performing arts school in California. And basically you learn to sing, you learn to dance, you learn to act. Um, and I did not know how to do any of them. So basically I went in not knowing anything, just tried to have fun. Um, but through that uh, organization, I got to travel around the world, um, teaching kids and performing. Um, and then I got to be able to play the violin as well, um, which is super cool. Um, that was the instrument that I played in the symphony. So yeah, that's kind of what, what I did after Flint Symphony Orchestra. And um, yeah. So the Young Americans, just a minute. Uh, where is that? Yeah, this is a really, really cool program that some of you may be, may be interested in and want to check out the website and some of the video there. Um, Max, how did you even know about the Young Americans? How did you kind of get recruited to do this in the first place? That's a good question. Um, when I was about five years old, maybe, um, I've been coming up to Harbor Springs, Michigan, and there's a dinner theater up there at Boyne Highlands Resort. And I would go see their dinner theater every summer as a kid. Um, so that was kind of my first introduction to the Young Americans. Um, but basically what they do is they, they travel and they do these workshops and they teach a show. And then they put on the show with the kids at the end of the week or three days, depending on which tour. Um, so then I did three workshops with the Young Americans. Um, and I, I liked it a lot. It was very out of the ordinary, um, but I liked it. So I kind of continued it, said, hey, I'm going to try this. And here we are. <laughs> yeah, well, so give us some more details just about the process. I mean, where do you live? Where, where have you been? How, what's the intensity of it? I mean, I sense that it's a real um, a team and that you're together a lot and there's a lot of work involved. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the Young Americans is based out of California. And through that whole time you're there, you're, you're living, you're performing, you're going to school all at the same time with all of the same people. Um, and then when you get sent out on tour, it's about 30 to 40 people. Um, you get to stay in houses of the towns um, that you go to. So you're meeting families every three days or every week. And it's just the coolest opportunity to be able to travel to some place as well as learn the culture of that place. So great, like luckily for me, I was able to travel to Europe as well as Japan. Um, so I got to learn not only, you know, about me and about my friends in the tour that I was with, but all of the individual families as well as the culture from those places. Um, it's hard definitely at times because you're away from home for about three months, um, just kind of like a nomad, but it's, it's quite a cool experience. It's very humbling. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, how has your life changed since COVID-19? Yeah. So when everything kind of started, I was in Japan at the time, um, on tour and it got worse over there before it came to America. Um, so I got sent home originally. Um, and then I kind of just went back to California and then I went back to Michigan, um, and stayed here ever since, um, COVID happened. So it kind of was a bummer having to leave tour early, but since then I've been able to continue schooling. Um, I've created a band with my buddies. Um, so <laughs> I'm still staying active, even though COVID's still a thing. Yeah. You know, before we open it up for questions, I have a couple other questions myself. Um, when you were in the youth symphony, did you travel then? What were some of the experiences you had back as a high schooler? 
Yeah, I did. Um, originally, I was supposed to go to Ireland, but I didn't end up and ending up going. So that was a big bummer for me. But I did get the chance to go to France um, with the orchestra. And that was quite the experience. Uh, we went to Limonet, uh, Courbevoie, um, just traveled all around and just looked at these beautiful places and got to play with amazing musicians. Oh my gosh, it was awesome. Even a choir, I believe as well. Um, we sang Baba Yetu, I believe. Um, yeah, that's a beautiful song. Um, yeah, I got to travel to France. It was awesome. So hopefully some of you got to, or will someday. Or will. Did, did you, were you ever involved in hosting some of our sister orchestras? Or did no. you have a chance to meet them when they were in town? I did. We had a couple of boys stay that uh, stay at my place. Um, I can't quite remember their names, but I have pictures of them, so I can still see them in my head. <laughs> but it was quite an experience. It's kind of a, a prequel to what I did in Young Americans, um, hosting some people and then families hosting me in a different country. So I got to see it on both sides of that coin, which was kind of cool. Yeah. So what if we open it up to questions? Who would like to ask Max a question? Don't be shy. I'm looking for hands. Where are they? It looks like we might be a little shy for a minute here. Hey, Max, would you share some music with us? Or Oh, wait, just a second. We see Sophia. Hi, Max. I think you know me and my family, so. Yes, yes. I, I'm part of FDC. Oh, so yeah. So I just, um, I'm sure my sister says hi to you, and this is just kind of stuff. Um, how did you balance music and other activities that you did? Were you involved in swimming and music and any other activities in school, and how did you manage that? That is a great question. <laughs> um, so yeah, in high school, I, I played travel soccer. I played high school soccer. I did high school swim, um, as well as school and orchestra on top of it. So balancing all of that was very, very tricky. I had to kind of have a routine every single week on which what I'm doing at this time. So it's a little draining, but it's possible. Um, I had orchestra Tuesdays and Thursdays. I believe you guys do too, I'm not sure. Um, but basically I would go to swim practice and then go straight from there to orchestra. Um, and I would always communicate with Davin and my soccer swim coaches saying, hey, I might be a little late or I might not be there today. But yeah, as long as you communicate, you can make that happen. <laughs> it's really hard though, but you can do it. Yeah, good question. Other questions? Were, you, were any of you in? Oh, I see it. Here's uh, Molly. Um, I was wondering if you had any crazy stories from Tori. Ooh, with the Young Americans? Ah, oh, that is a good question. Um, you know, I bet you I do. Off the top of my head, though, it's going to be hard. Um, some, you know, on tour, we do, we have this thing called yes and, or make it work. Um, so no matter what is given to you, you're going to go with it and you're going to make it the best thing possible. So actually, yes. Um, one time right before a show curtain opens and half of our mics or our RFs, which is like a wireless mic, um, they were all dead. They had no batteries in them and we realized it last second. So I had a solo coming up and Basically, I handed my mic behind me, went to the front of the stage and used a different mic. So it's just a lot of problem solving. It's very scary and hectic, but as long as you keep your cool, you can, you can continue to do that. Um, but that was a funny story <laughs> that I had. Good question. anymore. <laughs> well, I was going to say, Max, maybe you'd be willing to share some of your music with us. Yeah, yeah. So recently, I kind of spoiled myself and I bought myself an electric violin. Um, so I'm super happy about it. 
Let me see if I can play you something. Um, all right. Yeah, here she is. <laughs> She's a Yamaha, if you've ever looked at any electric violins. This one's a super cool. Um, definitely a good investment if you want to not only have an acoustic violin, but be able to play in a, like a live room or with a band or some crazy concert that's super cool. Um, yeah, so uh, let me see. I mean, hmm. Yeah, there's a little bit. Um, anyone know Double Down to Georgia? <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a cloud crowd pleaser. Um, here we go. There you go. There's a little fun ditty. <laughs> but yeah, I. Uh, you guys sounded really, really cool. That little, um, that metronome thing that you guys were doing, that was, that's super cool that you guys do that. Um, I think practice is very important. Um, tonight, actually, me and my bandmates are rehearsing. So um, as long as you keep practicing, everything's possible. Um, yeah. Hope you liked that. That was kind of fun for me. <laughs> Definitely. Hey, do you have access to any video of you with the Young Americans you might share with us now? Ooh. Is there anything on the website or? I do, hold on. I don't mean to put you on the spot. No, that's okay. I have some, so we have this thing during Christmas. It's called the Christmas show. Um, and I'm going to see if I can open it and find something that I'm in. Um, this takes place in La Mirada, California. Um, this was in 2018, so I'm having trouble figuring out where I am. It's a, uh, oh, there we go. Am I able to share my screen? Is that a possibility? You should be. All right, let's see. All right, can everyone see that? Yeah. All right, so this is just a little number from our Christmas show. Um, all of those LED frames in the back are being moved by about four people. That's what I did my new year or my freshman year of uh, Young Americans. Um, you kind of work your way up every year. So in this, in this little bit, uh, you see me as a, a dancer um, and I have a food tray in my hand. So it's kind of fun. Seven guys from Sears and Yeah. So there's a little little thing for you. <laughs> oh, thank you for that, for showing us that. Other questions yeah. for Max. Yes, Jessica. Like how much uh, variety of things can you, do you do? Like how much do you work on each specific part of like, you know, like acting versus singing and dancing and like just regular instrumental music with your instrument? That's a great question. Um, so when I was in California, I took classes for singing, dancing, and acting. Um, and 
not every night, but almost every night, I would be at the rehearsal hall dancing, like practicing choreography, um, acting. I would have my people who were ever in my scene, always in my apartment, going through the lines. Um, when you have something that, or three different groups like that, that you have to rehearse every little thing, um, you know, it, it's a little harder to divvy it out. Um, but yeah, as long as you kind of, manage your time wisely, you're able to get in those hours. And for me, I kind of just needed to stay later, put in those late hours to make sure that that happened. Um, so if you're willing for, to do it, go for it. Great. Any others? Yes, Maura. How much did you like practice your instrument in college? In college? Yeah. So sadly, um, the first almost year and a half of my time within the Young Americans, I didn't play very much of the violin. I was so sad. I kind of learned my singing, dancing, and acting kind of things. And then they decided, hey, this would be cool. So I picked it back up. Um, it's kind of like riding a bike, but you kind of forget how to do a couple of things. So I had to do some practicing again, um, for sure, to get myself back up to speed. Um, but when I did join the Young Americans and started playing the violin, I, I practiced quite a bit, um, especially because I went on tour with the violin. So I kind of needed to nail my stuff. Um, and I played it once in California in this theater with maybe... 1500 people that it could see. Um, and I would be too scared to mess up. So I practiced quite a bit um, before that show. Um, of course, I was very, very busy. But like, again, if you if you manage your time wisely, you're able to get that little <laughs> effort in there. That's a good question. Thank you. Yeah. Anybody else? I think Kristen. Kristen? Um, uh, did you have to audition to get into the college? I did, yeah. So at the end of a Young Americans workshop, um, you have the opportunity to audition. So I stayed after and I auditioned my junior year and my senior year. Um, and I didn't hear about it until my senior year. So I auditioned twice after those workshops. Um, but you can also send in videos. Um, it's been a while since I've seen the process and how it works, but I'm, I'm sure if you look on the website, you're able to find like how and what you need to do in order to audition. But yes, I did audition. Yeah. Sophia. Okay, what is your major? Is the school just for specific music majors? Yeah, good question. So in Young Americans, um, there's a couple of things you could do. Um, you can get a certificate, uh, which they have a certificate program. You don't get a degree because um, it is a two-year program. Um, what I did was I did a dual enrollment program with a, a community college up here in Petoskey, Michigan. So I was getting credit from Young Americans as well as um, a community college. So with the Young Americans, I got my associates in performance. Um, and with that, some, you can get a vocal major or a dance major on top of that, or they called it an emphasis, an emphasis sorry. Um, but yeah, so you can go get a couple different things there. Um, but at the end of the day, you get an associates in performance. Um, yeah, and actually right now I'm finishing off my associates with that community college. So I'll have an associates in performance from the Young Americans and a an, uh, general studies associates. Yeah, good question. All right, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Anybody else? Max, did you say you're going to have a band practice yet tonight? Yes, I will. <laughs> What's the makeup of your band? The what, sorry? The makeup of your band. How many, how many musicians and what do they play and so forth? Oh, yeah, for sure. So 
Um, there's five of us in the band. There's a drummer. He's from California. Um, we have a piano player. His name is Walter. He's from New York. Um, we have a bass guitar player who is from Ohio. Um, and he also plays a bunch of other instruments. Um, a lot of them actually play multiple instruments. Um, and then we have a guitarist who is from Hawaii. So I met them all through the Young Americans too, which is super cool. Are you saying you're rehearsing virtually or in person? In, in person. Um, yeah. Yeah. But we're being safe. We, uh, I recently got tested. Um, a bunch of us went and got tested. So we, uh, we know that we're safe when we, uh, we do rehearse. Okay, great. All right. Well, when we say goodbye to you, Max, the group of us, we're going to uh, play along with our three pieces of music that we're working on. And so we'll be sharing with you later, too, maybe some of our, our videos. I would love that. That yeah. was so cool. I yeah. missed it so much. So, uh, Any last minute comments that you have, suggestions for, for all of us? You know, if you can find that time to practice, it's very, very, very much worth it. Um, I know it's tedious, but it'll come out in the long run. Um, and just enjoy this while you can. I, I miss orchestra so much, so much. Um, it, there's something about playing with so many different people in one room or in a Zoom call, <laughs> but it's, it's very, very much a special thing um, that you can't get anywhere else really. So just enjoy it. Have fun. We cannot thank you enough. Thank you so much, Max Whitmore. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Good questions, everyone. Yeah. Have a great band practice. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Have a good night, you guys. Bye.